hello beautiful people welcome once again to the channel thank you so much for clicking thank you for stopping by so yes today as you can see i'm on the hunt for lunch okay i want to get my lunch and sometimes it's just good to get it yourself guys because this thing uh, <laughs> i had a story about somebody that caught the virus and this person did not go out though just sitting there in the house and what happened a delivery person came and brought stuff and from delivery guys can you imagine that was how this guy caught the stuff so yeah we're just living by faith that's the truth but i want to get lunch and what is in my mind now is just to get one malaysian food i think maybe nasi kukus i don't know if they are around but i'll just go and check them anyways if you are new to the channel this is happy family if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe to the channel and you're going to enjoy yourself here and for returning subscribers thank you guys so much i really appreciate you and uh, anyways anyways that's my surrounding as you can see everywhere is empty dry 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 guys everywhere is dry imagine so things are really 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 getting more dry this time around i don't know if these guys are around i doubt okay i think they are around but maybe their food has finished let me just go and check the nasi kukus people the road has not changed i mean yeah it's reduced Poor people are reduced but there are still people around and stuff so okay i came when the road is moving fast moving and stuff like that so how are you guys coping where you are i hope you are fine i hope everything is okay with you what's happening in your area hey these guys should just tell me that there's still food because it will be very very critical for me if there's no food that's the one i'm going to i hope they have they still have food let me quickly go and check okay i think i can cross now the road is not that busy if they don't have then i don't know where to check again those ones i don't know if they are open so yeah you guys know these people right i think they still have here yeah, luckily wow okay finish or still have hey huh? yes yes you have <laughs> okay the other guy told me finish but my friend here she said they're still only one eh? yeah give me give me <laughs> with the rice how are you I'm fine. good eh? you tell me finish i already almost go back eh? oh, I, I already <laughs> okay thank you um so i'm here can you give me more rice you add more rice for me so i want extra rice so i'm lucky i think i'm the last person here basically as yeah. you can see so yeah. this is a situation of things guys i just hope things get better as quick as possible okay so food is ready can you give me more rice okay. add more rice for me extra rice, extra rice. rice. thank you yeah. how do i say extra rice in malay nasi tamba nasi tamba nasi yeah. tamba <laughs> you want half or full what the rice uh, you want full cup or half full full it's okay full. Yeah. Full. oh okay so guys, huh? wow, she gave me extra rice. Yes, yes, yes. So today already finish all the food. When you close, you close already? Oh, okay. But do you have any drink? Um, what drink you have? Sun quick. Okay, sun quick. I know that sun quick. I tried before. Okay. How much? You give me free. <laughs> Guys, you can come and get their stuff from here. Okay. That's their contact. You can please contact them for delivery and stuff. Okay. Ooh, you gave. Wow, thank you. <laughs> she actually gave me free free one chicken, guys. That's so amazing. Terima kasih. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Okay, that's so loving. I was just joking. Oh. Okay, so extra soup. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> that's beautiful, guys. What do you think? 
sharing love even at a time like this is amazing if you ask me oh everywhere is empty yeah look at these cats so cute there was one i saw the other time and how are you I'm sleeping okay big wow good okay so this one how much with the drink okay this one seven ringgit fifty cent okay good and you give me free chicken thank you so much okay Uh, how much? Oh, wow, wow. Give me, you balaja me. Huh? <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, okay, thank you so much, guys. So, everything is 9 ringgit 80 cents with my drink. Oh, I think it's very nice. What do you guys think? Anyways, for me, I think it's very, very, very affordable. And I really appreciate them for that. I say thank you. So, my lunch is ready. Thank you, my friend. Okay, look at it. Sound quick, eh? Sound quick. Wow. So many guys. It's quite a lot of content. Okay, thank you so much. Very much, Kasi. So you can actually order them online at Umi Nasi Kukus on Food Panda. They are there. Okay, but if you want to contact directly, this is their contact as well, okay? And please contact them, guys. Anyways, thank you. All right. My friend. Hey, bye bye. Kawan. Okay, bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Wish you the best. Okay, my friend. Thank you. Very much. Okay, so they give me a lot actually, and I think I'm really, really delighted. I feel so special. So let me quickly get home and go and try the food for you guys. Anyways, you guys should please support local businesses. It's not easy these days. I just hope things get better for every one of them. Uh, so let me go home. I'll chat to you guys once I get home. Okay. Okay, welcome back guys. So we are here with the food. I just got home. So this is my song quick. This drink is very, very great. I think it's in the family of orange and all that. You guys have tried this actually before. Now this food is the highlight guys. It's so, so, so big. And this is my nasi kukus. My very, very best food in Malaysia guys. So yes, let's do some justice here graciously. And she gave me a lot. You guys saw when she was just giving me and giving me and giving me. Wow. So many things here. So I'm just going to see how to arrange this amicably. So that we can dig in. So she gave me two rice. Basically, I don't know if you guys can see very well. I think you can. So I have two rice. Uh, enough rice, obviously. And then the soup. Everything is there. With the chicken. <laughs> oh so you have to pour all these things guys let's quickly do that let's pour all these juices wow somebody say wow Woo. Woo. this is going to be very spicy actually nasi kukus is always known for its spiciness okay so she gave me extra soup let's pour it inside she gave me free chicken guys one free chicken you see you have to tell her thank you i don't know if she's watching so let's just pour everything graciously here Woo. to see to ensure that this thing is is contained what do they even use to make this this uh, sauce it's like it's not really sambal i'm not sure this one is sambal it's like curry yeah i think it's the curry stuff but it's like it's a special one for nasi kukus if i'm not mistaken Nothing as good as having Malaysian delicacy for your lunch. <laughs> okay. This is really much. I think I'll just keep a little somewhere there. It's actually very, very plenteous, as you can see. Okay, guys. So let us begin dealing with this food. As you can see, I have two chickens here. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Mmm. Everything about this nasi kukus is just so amazing, guys. Look at that. And it's so tasty. I wanted to just eat on this paper, so I'm very careful because the sauce is actually much. So let's see how to eat gently. 
with my cucumbers. Take some chicken. Mm, I can feel the spice already, guys. So let's see. Mmm. Very hot. Mmm. Okay. It's actually hot, guys. When I said hot, I mean really hot, guys. Really, really hot. The spicy level is plus one. Very, very high. Mm. Your life will not remain the same again. You better join my gang because this is my best food, guys. So far, so good. Except I find another one. <laughs> and then when you eat with your hand like this, in the traditional Malaysian way, you are good to go. You are good to go. You are good to go. Mm. It's so juicy and watery. With all those wonderful gravy and all that. Hi. This is amazing, guys. I can never get tired of eating nasi kukus. Never. Mm. Let me know your favorite food. Are you finally coming to Bolu's camp of Nasi Kukus? Or what's your own? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> wow. Talking about food in Malaysia, let me just quickly do that. Actually, in Malaysia, you have a lot of choices to make. Okay. It's not only traditional food, they have their own traditional food, of course. They have um, Western dishes as well. In fact, they even have some like Western restaurants like the burgers, you understand? Like, um, of course, KFC is, is global. Then they have, which other one again? Uh, McDonald's and many others, etc. AW. And they also have Arabian restaurants, you know like elite cuisine you can check them up on instagram elite cuisine and many others you know turkish restaurant you can get indian food pakistan food and let me shock you you can also get nigerian food in malaysia yes so you can actually get different kinds of food in this country it's a multicultural society and they offer everything for you guys So if you see me eating Malaysian food, Malaysian food, Malaysian food, this means that's what I like. That's what I prefer. Doesn't mean that there's no food for other countries. No, there's a lot of food. Even Nigerian food is available. Of course, Nigerian food is very scarce, but you can still get it at least in some places. And let me quickly tell you guys with regards to the price, the price of those food here in Malaysia is actually fair. You don't expect it to be so cheap because definitely they have some, the ingredients will not be cheap like that to get it here, especially the original ones, okay? So, but it's not too expensive, it's still fair. It's still fair, it's still average price. I think at the end of the day, with regards to food, it depends on the the place you go and eat, the restaurant, because there are different classes of restaurants in Malaysia, guys. That one, we cannot even hide it. Different classes. High class, middle class, and low class. So if you want to budget, you can go for low class or middle class. You're still going to get very good quality, guys. To me, actually, sometimes I even feel that the medium class restaurants, they actually serve better food than most of those 
high classes restaurant you understand even the low class sometimes if they cook it well my own principle is that the food should be good the environment should be neat to some extent and the staff should be friendly and also practice hygiene once that is done i'm okay what about you what do you look out for in restaurants and all that mm. this is sun quick drink it's more of like an orange kind of extract orange drink basically but i think it has its own special additives and all that but they call it sun quick it's not something i drink regularly it's been long i took it like a long time and it's the same restaurant i got it for uh, funny enough you understand like maybe some months ago like that you know so right now in malaysia you cannot eat in the restaurant as you can see or as i showed you guys we're on lockdown so you can only eat in your house but you can see how i'm eating right <laughs> where am i guys anyways but i'm grateful that the restaurants are allowed to run so that at least we don't miss the food out totally like that you understand hmm. you drink want to pour you cannot pour you cannot pour i really miss a lot of travels this time but it's okay because we need to be strong guys like people are really suffering this pandemic a lot of things are not really nice we just hope for the best please stay safe do your best to see how to reduce the spread of this virus let's not be selfish okay let's try our best to stay at home as much as we can guys it's very important very very important in times like this because anyone can be a victim of the COVID-19 circumstance. One thing in Malaysia, again, you may need to know is that if they are serving food like this, right, like rice, rice is actually very cheap. Like I told them to give me extra rice, right? I don't think she added any money for the rice, but the soup is what is actually expensive, you understand? The, today she gave me free chicken, but normally chicken is the one that's even more expensive here. But the rice is very, very cheap like very very cheap you can get rice of one ringgit two ringgit and you'll be satisfied that's why if you tell them put more put more put more rice they will put it joyfully <laughs> without thinking twice there they don't really eat rice so much they eat but like they don't eat so much at once you understand malaysians can eat many times in a day true of us if you're a malaysian how many times you eat in a day let me know in the comment section below but we we can eat like twice or three times but we eat enough like twice is okay for us actually for me i eat twice sometimes even once but if i'm eating i eat enough that's why you can see i told her to put extra rice this is the only meal i'm eating today guys this is already evening time and this is the only meal i'll actually eat today i think i'm filled up already so yeah that's how it is but how do you do your own what's your culture like in malaysia how many times do you eat? Is it the normal three times in a day? Or do you eat two times? Or I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Mm. Mm. I'm so refreshed. Yeah, so a lot of you usually ask me this question of um what is happening? Can we travel to Malaysia now? When is the pandemic going to be over? are schools accepting people and all those questions yeah schools are still accepting if you apply but for you to come to malaysia now actually you need to go through a lot of process i won't lie to you you need to go through a lot of process and it even depends on your country also you know but like you really need to go to through a lot of extra processes that you wouldn't have gone through if the pandemic was not there okay so i think it's not so easy to come to malaysia now but you can still come for students i think so i'm not sure once you're able to get your visa pass or whatever why not you can come to malaysia you're going to go through the quarantine um, process and all that. But my question is, coming to Malaysia now and like the pandemic is still there, you know, you cannot even go to the school, you cannot use the labs and all those kind of things. So it's really, really very somehow. But I think I heard that from November, things will be better. They are trying to see how to increase the amount of vaccines that would be given out to people so that at least 
70% of the population can be vaccinated from there they feel that there could be what they call herd immunity okay herd immunity and we are looking uh forward to the positivity of this and we hope things will be better i myself i miss school a lot i miss going to the school i miss doing activities in school okay so we hope for better days and yeah if you want to come to malaysia keep trying keep checking and try your best maybe you can you may be lucky maybe students can come i don't know but i will get the real information for you guys if there's anybody that know about that please comment down below what is the status for international students that want to come to malaysia at this time of the lockdown let me know in the comment section below and let them also know because i know some people are going to ask the question again so you can watch this video and get the answer at the end anyways that's going to be it for this video i'll be signing out now i mean my own self bolu so i see you next time stay positive stay safe don't let anybody steal your joy what do you think about my food is this your best food as well if not what is your best food recommend the food for me to try i'll see you next time much love and god bless you bye 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 <laughs>